Today I'm going to be showing you the Radley's Reactor Ready Jacketed Lab Filter Reactor. I'll be describing the range and its features, talking about some applications for our filter vessels and giving you a short demonstration on how to set up and use the system. The concept of our filter vessels is that they allow the user to perform reaction and filtration in one vessel, allowing for contained temperature controlled stirred filtrations. This is ideal for applications such as crystallizations, where you can perform your reaction, precipitate your product out in the vessel, and then your product can be filtered, washed and dried all in situ, saving you the hassle of transferring your chemistry into another vessel. Our filter vessels can be used for reaction workups or powder drying, they can also be used purely for doing reactions or as a standalone filter. Our new filter system is based on our popular Reactor Ready Lab Reactor. You can either upgrade your existing Reactor Ready to accept filter vessels or you can buy a new dedicated filter system. The Reactor Ready filter core is identical to the Reactor Ready core with the exception of extended support rods which accommodate the taller filter vessels and a filter support plate that assists with holding and aligning the filter plate on the base of the filter vessel. Our filter vessels are jacketed glass reaction vessels which have a removable filter plate made of PTFE or PEAK. You can choose between them depending on what solvents and temperature you're using. Our filter vessels come in 1 litre and 2 litre volumes and they're fully jacketed for connection to a circulator giving excellent temperature control from minus 30 to plus 180 degrees Celsius. Filtrations can be done by gravity or under vacuum down to 5 millibar. Now I'll demonstrate how we assemble the filter vessel and I'll talk through some of its features. Filter vessels have the same neck size as our standard and processed reactor ready vessels so they fit into the vessel support in exactly the same way. We can load the vessel into the framework by simply locating the vessel collar into the vessel support. We then assemble our filter base so the filter bases can be made out of PTFE or PEAK. I'm using the PTFE one here. We then place this sintered disc onto the base. The sintered disc supports the filter membrane which we can then place on. We supply a range of filter membranes pre-cut in different materials and porosities. You can also use your own filter membranes as long as they are cut to the correct size. Next goes the filter plate o-ring which can be made out of silicon or viton. And then goes the filter plate gasket which are also made out of PTFE or PEAK just like the bases. The filter base then locks into this aluminium filter cup with a bayonet fitting. The aluminium filter cup ensures that when we clamp the base onto the vessel, the risk of damaging the base is reduced and also the risk of leaking from the base is minimized. We can then attach our bottom outlet valve to the filter base and secure it using this rotofist fitting. Our bottom outlet valve has a 15mm bore to ensure there's no holdup when draining the vessel contents and it can also be easily removed for cleaning. We place our filter base onto this base support here which is fixed the, the support rod and we slide it up so that the base is in the correct alignment with the vessel. We then place our removable clamp onto this pin and we can then secure our filter base onto the vessel. Now that we've assembled the filter plate and attached it to our vessel, assembling the rest of the system is just like putting together a standard or processed reactor ready vessel. First, we replace the vessel o-ring in the PTFE collar and then the lid. We then connect our manifold to vessel hoses which provide the temperature control from your circulator to the vessel. Now you can use our filter vessels purely as a filter without a circulator if you don't require temperature control filtrations. Now your system is ready to use for reactions. If you wanted to use it for filtrations, you would simply connect the bottom outlet valve to a collection vessel with this rotavis fitting here. If you want more information on our filter reactor or any of the reactor systems we offer at Radley's, you can check them out over on our website. Don't forget to tap like on the video and leave a comment on what videos you'd like to see next from us. If you'd like to see all the videos we've done, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel.